weekend, obviously, just to get those three points to, to get your guys' momentum back. Yeah, very important game. Uh, I think, you know, getting three points would also mean that we are still well within the reach, you know, of the PSL league title. So, I think we owe to ourselves, our supporters, to try at least to make sure that we get three points, you know, despite the good performances we've had the last couple of weeks, but we need we need uh, three points and good results in that. Realistically, do you still think that you guys can still challenge for them? Yes. Yes. I still think we can, we can do it. Uh, it's going to go down to, to the last day, I think, once again, but uh, we believe we, we're still there. What do you say that helps you? No, I think I think the whole team, you know, I mean, the, then why are we playing? If you're going to believe, uh, we're not going to... We believe that we still can and anything is possible. Uh, everyone else is also dropping points, you know, there's draws. So, you know, you need to keep our, our, our eyes open as well. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, soon by now. If you look at Philip on the city, they come up with four last night against uh, Sunrise. What kind of a team do you expect on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, it's always been tricky to play uh, Bulugana City. Um, you never know what to expect on the day. But, um, you know, we, we respect them. We always respect our opponents. But like I said, um, if if we know that we can play the, the brand of football that we are right now, then we can put ourselves in a better position to, to win the game because we know we're going to create the chances. Now it's just up to us to, to make sure that we convert. And under Coach Anthony, you seem to be finding yourself. Like, what's been key in terms of Anthony looking like the end of the no, I wouldn't say uh, there's, the, 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 there's a different George or anything, but really, I think I've still been doing the same thing. I've been working very hard. Um, I'd, I'd say maybe the, maybe there's more focus, especially now at this stage of the season. So. We know what what is possible to get and what is out there. So I think as a, as a team, uh, we, we realize that uh, it's still possible. You know, there's two trophies now that are still up for grabs, and uh, we, we we're going for that. So until until the last day, we're gonna push on, push on. But you handle the expectations, so you, because I mean, people know what you like when you're at your best, and then you're in a club where that's demanded and consistent. Yeah, I mean, you always have to be at your best. You know, a club like the Chiefs, uh, there's no, there's no room for second chances or to be mediocre. Uh, you always need to be at your best at all times. And uh, you know, if you come on the day and you are not in uh, top top form, then you know you're gonna get the stick from the supporters. So always make sure when you're on that field, you know, playing for this brand that you are really top level. And George, when Ernst drop Willard the derby. <coughs> Played you in defensive midfield, and that's surprising. Just dropping Katsane for Derby is, mm. is surprising. You going to defensive midfield, but it seemed to work. Can you just explain why? Because he said it was something that was tailor made for their midfield. And, you know, you usually expect yeah. Tama Mopara and Matsuri to be a very strong midfield. Yeah, I think if you if you look at Pirates' midfield, they all all three of them are are really midfield based, you know, and they don't really join the attack that much. You'll, out of the three, you'll have maybe one. Which is most likely to be uh, Tola, you know, and uh, you leave uh, Musa and uh, Ben sitting back. Mostly. But even with Tola, he doesn't really go up front that much. So with with, with me uh, going in there and uh, ahead of Katsande, I think it was a, it was a tech, more of a tactical change. I think. And uh, with uh, having uh, Extend and. Uh, yeah, there is myself and Xtain and then yeah. we had one of the strikers drop in. Okay. You know, so that that that, that also played in our hands. Well. And if you saw if you saw the game, then uh, we actually handled it uh, very well. So you no, know, it was a it was a good move from the coach. Do you speak about uh, working hard and always putting your best for for the brand? But you're one of the senior players now in this in this chief squad, and you've been handed some some extra responsibility of captaincy at, at certain points of, of the season. Do you think that that's you know giving you an extra motivation to, to work that extra bit harder and to I try to put more I would, performances I would, together? I wouldn't say that 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 is the reason. Um, I've always I've, I've always been a hard worker. Um, I've always uh, taken uh, responsibility. 
So I just, I just, I guess maybe everything came at the right time. I don't know, um, but I've never shied away from responsibility or just being out there. Do you enjoy that? I do, I do. You know, like I say, I never shy away from anything. So if given a task, I will make sure that I. I and this is what uh, you tasted continental football this season. Um, how important would you say it is for you guys to maybe if you don't um, get a spot in the in the top three, maybe to go all the way and win the net bank to try and get uh, back into uh, Africa next year again? I think it's 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 very important, you know, because uh, a lot of a lot of matches that are, you know continental based. Uh, for me, I even said this earlier on, they, they're more of a mental factor, you know. Uh, it's basically what happens in and around you, you know, when you're at that particular country. But uh, in terms of football, um, uh, I think we, we handled it. But we could have done much, much better, you know. We know we were very disappointed, especially in the, in the Zesco match. Um, obviously, the, the, the first leg didn't uh, play in our favor, but I think it's more of, more of a mental factor. But uh, I think putting ourselves in that position would actually benefit of, uh, benefit us as a team in the future. George, just on on uh, what's plagued Chiefs in, in recent times, especially in that game against the Magic, you guys left it late. Mm. In that game, you guys created quite a few yes. chances to score within the regular uh, 90 minutes. Is that now something that uh, you guys take a responsibility for as a whole squad, not just the strikers to, to find the balls, maybe yourselves in midfield and a couple of guys pop up from yeah. the back to score some certain goals? Yeah, I think um, we, we all know as, as players that uh, you know each and every one of us need to contribute, uh, you know, whether it's goals or performance. <laughs> But it's, it's a team effort, you know, and, uh, and yeah, that, that that proved also against against Magic. You know, we didn't have all the chances because there was still some defending to do. You know, all of that. Like I said, we respect all our opponents that we play against. So we we need to make sure that we stick together and uh, make sure that we end this together. There's, there's no other way. In the award? What did you expect? Sorry. The award. The award? Uh, I didn't. I didn't. But you know, we have a lot of a lot of supporters. Mm. Uh, I did have a look at a couple of calls in, in, that, in that month, and uh, yeah, I'm very happy that I, I received it. You know, like I said, it's all thanks to our supporters and the, the, the voters out there. So, do such awards come as a confidence boost? I mean, considering it's it's a goal of the month rather than maybe play of the month. Or yeah, considering me playing as a defensive midfielder, <laughs> I think I'll take I'll take that. Um, it's very rare that you're in a very good goal scoring position. So yeah, if, if you score a nice goal and you get goal of the month, then once in a while you must also put yourself in that position. So yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it, and I'm happy. Yeah, and Josh, tell me, what kind of challenges? And having four goalkeeper changes in one season presented, you know, to, to the general shape of the team because it's, it's unusual for Chiefs, you know, to have used four goalkeepers, you know. Mm. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't. A lot of people say it was a crisis, which I don't think it was. You know, obviously, uh, Dumeleng Kunis injury, but uh, we have four quality goalkeepers here, yeah. and uh, I think maybe it all, it all, it also boils down to. It. Who deserves a chance? You know, because they all do very well. I mean, they train the same. They all quality. Um, that you must ask that guy. Lee Baxter is. He would know. You know, in terms of why use four goalkeepers, or in in a season. But uh, they, they all deserve to play, and I think maybe that's why there's, there was that uh, spell of rotation between. Them. Yeah, but I mean, uh, Kuni's absence. Yes. Is obviously uh, the number one. Yes. The one who always plays when he's there, you know, and once he's not there, it seems to have affected the team one way or the other, especially with the errors that were made by the other yeah, team along the way. But not, not necessarily. I mean, there, are, there have been a lot of times where Dumeleng was not injured and a lot of keepers did play. And this, not this season in particular, but even in other seasons where the 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 time we won the league, the double, the MTN, and the Kuna didn't play most, but he wasn't injured. Brilliant who came in. Uh, Riyad came in. So if you look at all the past past years, Kune has been there, though, but it's just to show that he's got a good uh, good backup. Now that, now that you're a senior player, 
Like even a veteran would have a shame. You know, actually one of the yeah. old men of the team. <laughs> <laughs> Agree to does, disagree. Does that change your game? Now that you're not, not at all. Not at all. Um, um, I feel stronger. Stronger than, than, than I have before. And uh, like I said, I, I'm working harder than I've been. So nothing is going to change. Nothing should change. If I change, obviously I become a different player. So I don't think anything should change. Should the, the Net Bank up through on Thursday? Is there anyone in particular who is hoping to get uh, maybe one of the big guns so that you actually test yourself against a big, like a, a PSL team <coughs> as opposed to testing yourself against an ABC team? They want to jinx it, man. Uh, but uh, it's not wood. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized, but it's close. Um, uh, I don't know. I think I'd rather meet. I'd rather meet any team now to see where we stand. You know, if we really have a good chance of winning this, you know, as also to know where we stand. Um, so if it's, I'm not gonna say anything actually. So <laughs> if it's PSL a PSL really. team or NFD, it doesn't matter. But if we want to win this, in any case, we have to be at our best. So just bring anyone, put them in front of us, and then we make sure we put them aside, just to make sure they go all the way. Just on the George, you guys are arguably the favourites for this uh, for this Netbank Cup title. Yourselves alongside Cape Town City, who have you know some cup pedigree this yes. season, obviously. So uh, is that also? Add a little bit more extra pressure than there already was for not winning titles for the past I, I, four years. I wouldn't say it's pressure, but it also gives us that extra motivation to say that we actually need to lift ourselves. Um, I don't think with the actual, but okay, I think it gives us that extra motivation. You know, there's Cape Town City, there's Vets as well that uh, also are doing very well. You know, not only at Bank but in the league. So it's, it's going to be a close one, but the only way to find out is if we meet them <coughs> and beat them. Do you think your former coach has the capabilities of doing well in this club? He does, and he's been doing very well at his club, so um, I wish him all the luck, but uh, uh, there's only one way to find out. I can't say much. I need to do all the talking on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.